Well, it's more than 24 hour and I said everyone reading Jeremiah 37 from the Indian Ocean Region, also known as the Navy Region. If you guys are not going to be long, you guys can go to AppleGitsu.com or you guys can go to Mumbai, I don't care how you, you guys want to, but you can get started. Jeremiah 37, the Indian Ocean Region, the Navy Region, Jeremiah in prison. Zedekiah, son of Josiah, was made king of Judah by Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. He reigned in palace of Jehoiachin, son of Jehoiakim. Neither he nor his attendants nor the, nor the people of the land paid any attention to the words. The Lord had spoken through Jeremiah the prophet. King Zedekiah, however, sent Jehukal, son of Shalemiah, Shal with the priest Zephaniah, son of Masaniah, to Jeremiah the prophet with this message. Please preach the Lord our God for us. Now Jeremiah was free to come and go among the people, for he had not yet been put in prison. Pharaoh's army had marched out of Egypt, and when the Babylonians who were besieging Jerusalem heard the report about them, they withdrew from Jerusalem. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says, Tell the king of Judah who, who sent you to inquire of me. Pharaoh's army, which has marched out to support you, will go back to its own land to Egypt. Then the Babylonian, Babylonians will return and attack the city. They will capture it and burn it down. And so the Lord says, Do not deceive yourselves, saying the Babylonians will surely leave us. They will not, even if you are to defeat the, whole, the, the entire Babylonian army that is attacking you, and the only wounded men were left in their tents, they would come out and burn the city down. After the Babylonian army had withdrawn from Jerusalem because of Pharaoh's army, Jeremiah started to leave the city to go to the territory of Benjamin to get a share of the property among the people there. But when he reached the Benjamin Gate, the captain of the guard, whose name was Irijah, son of Shalamiah, the son of Hananiah, arrested him and said, You are deserting to the Babylonians. That's not true, Jeremiah said. I am not deserting to the Babylonians, but Irijah would not listen to him. and said he arrested Jeremiah and brought him to the officials. They were angry with Jeremiah. And had him beaten and imprisoned in the house of Jonathan, the second secretary, which they had made into a prison. Jeremiah was put into a vaulted cell in a dungeon when, where he remained a long time. Then King Zedekiah sent for him and had him brought to the palace, where he asked him privately, Is there any word from the Lord? Yes, Jeremiah replied. You will, you will be delivered into the hands of the king of Babylon. And, Zedekiah, and Jeremiah said to King Zedekiah, What crime have I committed against you or your attendants or this people? That you have put me in prison, where your prophets who prophesied to you, the king of Babylon, will not attack you or this land. But now, my lord, the king, please listen. Let me bring my petition before you. Do not send me back to the house of Jonathan, or I will die here. King Zedekiah then gave orders for Jeremiah to be placed in the courtyard of the garden, given a loaf of bread from the street of the bakers each day, until all the bread in the city was gone. So Jeremiah remained in the courtyard of the garden. You guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.